We start the week off at Great Keppel Island. It's been three weeks since our last shop, so we decided to go to Yapoon to do some reprovisioning. Because we don't want to spend the night at the marina, this has to work with military precision to get all the shopping done. What could possibly go wrong? Our trip includes shopping at Bunnings, BCF, Super Cheap Auto and of course a supermarket and bottle shop. We hire a car and travel firstly to Bunnings, which was no problem. Practicing social distancing and only two people per aisle was new to us since our last visit on land. Next stop was BCF, where I stocked up on fishing gear and other essential stuff for the boat. Cheryl had to drag me out of there before I maxed out the credit card. Next door was a super cheap auto where I needed to get some tools. Once back at the car, we realised that the keys must have been locked in the boot of the car between BCF and super cheap autos. Unfortunately, the hire car place didn't have a spare key or duplicate sets, so Tim and I spent the next four hours trying to break into the car, unsuccessfully. So finally admitting defeat, we called the RACQ, who eventually opened the boot of the car. So what was planned to take only four hours, ended up taking over eight hours after I returned the hire car. The army have a term for this sort of situation, it's called a snafu. We would have loved to have footage of the incident, but unfortunately, the camera was locked into the boot as well. We're on our friend's boat, uh, Karanga, and we're just coming into Yapoon Marina now to do some reprovisioning. Pretty impressive. Being deckhand today. This morning at Fisherman's Bay on Great Keppel Island, a bit of rain, and we've got a beautiful double rainbow to wake up to. Very special. We've left Great Keppel Island today. We're shooting off down to Bundaberg. Uh, we've realised that we actually can't live without our generator. So um, all the parts have arrived back in Bundaberg, so we have to go back down and get an emergency fit of it. Grumpy at Bundaberg Marine uh, Maintenance has rung us up and he's going to fit us straight in when we get there. Um, Bundaberg Marina is only accepting uh, casuals in emergency situations and because this is a generator uh, this is considered an emergency uh, situation. Uh, we've picked a great day to go, battling into the wind. Uh, this is a, basically a southeasterly, um, but it's very calm. So Bagheera is on motors and is just cruising through the water nicely. It's a, re it's a really nice trip. Um, so we'll probably go as far as Gladstone today and uh, then um, 1770 on day two and maybe uh, Bundaberg on day three. Sun's just gone down below the horizon. Uh, we're still traveling along. It would be nice if we were at our destination, but we're probably still half an hour away or so. So it might be getting a bit dark when you get in it to uh, Gladstone. Be interesting. I hope the markers are lit. So I woke up this morning and got a bit of a fright when I saw Murray. I am not an animal. <laughs> Turn around so I can see him. Yeah, he's got a very swollen eye and a fat cheek, so he reckons he's been bitten by something, so... Yeah, bit of a worry. Anyway, we woke up this morning. Uh, we came in last night, just on sundown, into uh, the main entry of Gladstone Harbour. We followed an avionic, thank goodness, and we're able to find this little spot here, right beside, or well, tucked in behind Rat Island and at the end of Curtis Island in the North Channel. So we had a really nice, safe 
quiet night, hardly any swell or waves and um, ready to head off on our next step to 1770 on our way back to Bundaberg today. This is well I shut the windows. We've just left Gladstone Harbour and we're out here in the uh, big ship parking lot. Uh, all these ships out here are ready to go inshore, either they're doing their quarantine time or um, it's a very busy terminal. I'm, I think Gladstone is one of the busiest terminals, but there's a lot of ships parked out here, so I'm assuming it's all about the quarantine. So we've travelled down from Gladstone this morning and we're just coming into 1770 here. This is one of the few bar crossings they have in Queensland. We are coming in probably a touch early, high tide's at 6.15 and it's uh, probably about 4.30 now. So we're still coming in on a rising tide. Uh, it appears it's fairly calm and um, we are lucky to be here tonight before Sunset, unlike last night. So we found a spot in um, 1770. Navionics really weren't that helpful as we've been told, but we've tried to follow the markers and we can see the sandbank here. So, chatted to a couple of people on a yacht there and they seem to think deep enough here. We won't run aground overnight. Just stepped outside at 1770 to admire the sunset. Wow. Spectacular. So just after that spectacular sunset, we're now treated to a um, beautiful lightning storm coming towards us. Murray's very happy, he's just caught a spotted mackerel this morning on our way out from uh, 1770 on the way to Bundaberg. Spanish mackerel and he's just took something out. Thinks it's a big one. Murray's caught another mackerel today. We're not quite sure what it is. Got some nice stripes on the top. It's probably the biggest fish Murray's ever caught. So he's pretty stoked. These are some of the dramas that happen while you're sailing. I was tying off a preventer to stop the boom from swinging um, and I hooked it up to the winch all of a sudden the wind changed and the boom swung around uh, and the preventer did its job and stopped the boom from swinging um, but what it did it put pressure onto the winch and pulled the winch off which normally sits here and uh, it traveled it bounced there once bounced there twice and into the water uh, fortunately I managed to grab the rope uh, which it was attached to and pulled it out of the water. So now I've got a job of um, having to reattach it. Fortunately I do know what to do because I've done the same to the other one already. We're just coming back into Port Bundaberg. We've had to return to get our 
generator fix we found that it's pretty much essential to sustaining us living aboard so we've been waiting for parts to come in and we've had to sail back to get that fixed tomorrow morning hopefully. It's a bit of a yucky old day with lots of rain and um, very challenging winds but we're coming in the channel now to Port Bundaberg. Well we made it to Bundaberg and that's where we'll leave it this week. Join us next week when we get the generator repaired and we catch up with old friends. Thanks for watching. See you next week.